Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome guys to this other video to explain the word count. Okay, is there a word count for your examination? Yes. Your examination will uh, specify a word count with a 10% tolerance and you are required to stick to it. In a traditional examination, guys, your answers are most likely, they are limited by the length of the time you have available in the exam room and how quickly you can handwrite your answers. Without that limit, there is a risk that you might overwrite a question. Write in a lot more than is necessary to get full marks on the question. Now, sometimes you require a small answer, sometimes you require a big answer, and if you think uh, it requires a big answer, you're going to write a, a newspaper. You're just going to keep writing and writing and writing and writing just to get, uh, you know, full marks on that question. That's why Nibash has specified word limits to give you a sense of how big uh, the examiner expects the longest good answer to any question can be. Okay? The maximum word count will be uh, specified against each question and your answer should not exceed this limit. What does this mean? It means that Nibash will tell you okay for this question you need to answer in 100 minute uh, excuse me, 100 words okay 100 words this is your limit your overall word count must be plus or minus 10 percent <clears throat> so for example 100 uh, 100 words this means you can write 90 words or you can write a hundred or maximum 110 why is it important to stick to this examiners this is really important will not mark text that exceeds the word count they will stop marking at the maximum word count so if you gave 350 words for an answer the maximum allowed limit is 300 and 10 percent tolerance so there is 330 words that's 110 percent the 20 words after uh, the limit even if they are correct even if everything you wrote before is wrong and only these are correct they will stop marking and all of these marks will not uh, will not count remember you are being assessed on relevance and quality. You're not being assessed on quality of words, uh, quantity of words. Okay? So you are being assessed on relevance and quality. You are not being assessed on quantity of words, meaning number of words. It is really important to stay focused on the subject and context of the question. So, when you're talking about breakfast, stay on the breakfast. Don't mix dinner and lunch. Okay, if you're talking about direct and indirect reasons uh, or costs, if you're talking about uh, risk assessment, don't mix uh, other topics with this. Focus. Focus on the context of the question and answer only that. Remember, you are limited in words you are limited in words so maybe you will uh, leave the good words until the end and Nibash will end up not marking these words not counting them because you say hey this is your limit man you, you passed it okay you passed the limit so 300 we gave you 330 Th uh, 331 the one after the, uh, the 30 will not be counted. So 10% tolerance. I hope this was useful.